Hey guys, it's Sarah here and welcome back to another bookshop review. If you have read the first book from the Rule of Three trilogy, then congratulations. It is a very, very, very slow book, but do not worry because the second one does pick up. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing the second book called Fight for Power by Eric Walters, which is the second book from the Rule of Three trilogy. Today's shots, we are going to be taking some Korean yogurt to Cheers. Let's get on to the actual review. For the cover, I am going to be giving this a 3.5 out of 5. It has the same idea and same vibe as the first one, so I don't really have much to say. There's just a lot of destruction, a lot of chaos. So it's not the worst thing to look at, but I also don't think it's the best thing to look at either. I do like how the side looks though, so if you put all of the three books together, it does look really appealing. To refresh everyone's memory, there is a worldwide power outage. The electricity is still out and supplies are starting to run out real low. Family are doing everything they can to survive including Adam who has yet again killed another person and though it needed to be done murder changes people. For a teenager who is forced to grow up quickly to survive in this apocalyptic world, he and his neighbors have turned their suburban neighborhood into a fortress to defend themselves from the countless enemies. Outside of their wall there was danger lurking in the dark. Somebody out there wants to break down those walls, destroy the neighborhood, and kill Adam. The story starts off right where the first one ended, legit the same scene, location, spot, but it just continues from there. Things are definitely a lot more tense as time goes by. People are running out of food, supplies, ways to protect themselves. Things are just tense overall. Whenever someone left the safety of the walls, I remember feeling my own anxiety peak because I was terrified for them to like leave the walls and it felt like I was genuinely in the story. There's a lot of dialogue, the story does move on pretty fast, fast but smooth. There is a plot twist in this one but you can see it coming miles away so will you really consider it a plot twist? I don't really know but it's still a good book. I personally enjoyed this a lot more than I did with the first so for the plot I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Characters get a 4.5 out of 5. This one has the same three main characters, Herb, Adam, Adam and Adam's mom, but we do get a lot more of Adam's friends, which I really liked. There's still not much of a character growth. I mean, we are still technically on the second book. I do remember the third one having some, but from what I can remember, I don't think the second one did. Overall, this one gets a 10 out of 10. I feel like there's not much to say to it because it's legit just a continuation from the first book. I will say that the first book was more of the introduction and the start of the apocalypse, and the second one has a lot more to do with the survival portion of it, so it definitely is a lot more tense and a lot more serious in that way. And because of that, I definitely enjoyed this a lot more. So that was it for my review of Fight for Power, which is the second book from the Rule of Three trilogy. The story is definitely building up. The world build, everything just feels so real. I personally love that aspect of the series. I feel like this one was a really short video, but I don't have much to say to it because it's straight up just a continuation of the first book. So there's not really much of its own storyline per se, except for that one plot twist, which you can't really consider it a plot twist in my opinion. But anyways, I'll definitely do a review on the third and final book. But until then, that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. I make sure to sing on them and I'll see you guys next time with Sarah. Bye!